Uh, Damian, do you think this Tua Tyreek connection can challenge the Bills for the division? Laura, I think they got a lot of work to do. I think mm. the Bills are the class of the AFC East. I mean, you're talking about last year and their two matchups were a point differential of 50. 50 was the point differential in those two matchups going up against the Buffalo Bills. So that's a that's a large margin that ha that has to be uh, you know, has to be closed. But, you know, I like the weapons that they have. You know, they've added a lot of key pieces between trading for Tyreek Hill. Uh, bringing over Cedric Wilson from the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Teron Armstead, the, you know, pro, the all-pro tackle from the New Orleans Saints. They've made a lot of key moves, but ultimately, this thing is going to come down to Tua and his ability to match up with with you know a guy like Josh Allen. That's a huge that's a huge difference. So, Bills, in my opinion, are the class of the division. Look, I, I think. When we're talking about Tyreek Hill and we're talking about Tua Tungavailoa, I think something's important here to remember. At one point in time, I remember Tyreek Hill making comment about the fact that when he first saw Patrick Mahomes, you know, he, his, his reaction was more or less like, this is the guy who we drafted? You know, this is, this is going to be the guy who, who's going to be mm. the guy who's going to lead us into the future and become the Patrick Mahomes that he is now? So I think what, what, what this, really what I'm getting at is this. This is a guy who really kind of tells it like it is. Love or hate Tyreek Hill, and a lot of people hate him, a lot of people love him. He's one of those guys that will tell you exactly how he sees it. And he obviously said, look, everyone else that he was obviously listening to was saying, look, Tua is one of those guys who has like this pop gun noodle arm. All he can do is run RPOs and throw slants and hitches and rocket screens and bubble screens and tunnel screens. He can't throw the football down the field. And obviously what he's telling you is he was believing some of that before he got there. Hmm. And now maybe the tide is turning a little bit, which we all know that unjustifiably many people get on tour in such a way that is just not valid and just not warranted. I think this is going to be an interesting thing to watch and see how this all plays out with all the weaponry that he has surrounding him now, without a doubt. Yeah, Jeff, you're in that area. You, know, you spend a lot of time around this Dolphins team. I think there's a national narrative around Tua, and, and that's one thing, but what's the actual conversation that you hear around him and the people that see him every day? Well, that's a really good point, and I could understand why Tyreek would maybe not expect Tua to look as good as he did in practice, because generally when you get in this area, you see people who watch Tua on a regular basis are the most ardent supporters of him. Locally, I've really never seen a Dolphins quarterback get as much love and defense as Tua has gotten over the last year. And, and it probably due to the fact that when you watch his full body of work, you see some of that accuracy, you see some of the bigger plays that he's been capable of making. I don't know what happens with Tua. I don't know what his ceiling is personally. But I will say that this team came into this offseason and said, we are going to do more to support Tua Tungavailoa when it comes to morale boosting, when it comes to players around him, when it comes to coaching. All of those things have been put into place and ultimately you see Tyreek say, hey, my expectations have been reset and I think maybe the rest of us would be wise to do the same. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's worth remembering that the Dolphins took what was perceived to be a risk at the time to draft to a number five overall where they did because of the significant hip injury. It was amazing that he could even walk again. Yeah. He goes out there, has his rookie season. He's had to get back into the zone of actually playing football. It hasn't been consistent from who was calling the plays. I mean, I, I do think there's a lot here when you think about what Tua is capable of if given a really fair shake and Jeff we thought your window was open there uh, in Miami and in, in your Florida home there uh, is it open or is it just a, yeah is that Tua out there yeah <laughs> I think Tua lives right back there that one. what a what a name <laughs> drop that's amazing thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus